Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Donkey Kong 94 Episode 8! Holy crap, look at all those freaking stages! Yes, Rocky Valley is the longest stage, world, group of levels, whatever, that this game has to offer. And they have some of the most obnoxious levels as well. Starting with this first one. We're in here for the long run, and to start things off, we have a pretty complicated puzzle here. First thing we're gonna do is gonna grab this key. This guy's gonna come, we'll throw it over there. That falls to the, to the bottom of the depths, but it doesn't matter. We'll grab that, and hit that shit. I wanna get this guy out of the way, because he's gonna cause me some stress later if I mess up later. Which is very likely. There. Now we got the key, we'll take this, go over here. Hip, hip, throw it up there. Go the way around. And there you go. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're going to put a ladder right here so we can get up top. Throw that over there. Climb on up. And then up again. I'm gonna put this. This is where things are gonna get really, really tricky. So here, I put it right there. Quickly go down. Fuck, that's not good at all. Oh no! Ah! Try it again. Those armadillos slowed me down. I'm not sure if there is another way to do this, because I know that there are usually multiple ways to deal with the puzzle more often than not. But... This was the only one I could find, because this one is not exactly the easiest. That's probably not gonna make it either, I bet. Okay, go. Oh no! Ah! Do you get the idea now? See if we can do it right. Alright, let's try this again. Throw that key up there. Head up here. That key's closer to the surface, so maybe it'll work with me a bit more. Put that there. No, 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 no! Fucking armadillos! Oh, fuck! I think we got it going. Oh, come on. Fucking armad- Oh, God! Oh, my God. These armadillos are starting to get on my nerves. I like a lot. So, ladder's down. Hit that. God, we gotta be just right here. Oh, God! Alright, that's it. This stupid armadillo is swag. That was I was saying. Fuck off. What? What do you mean you can't you can't die? The motherfucker gets in my way, he fucking What? <laughs> fucking what? Really starting to lose my patience. Oh, got oh, go, huh? Oh, no! huh? Huh? Fuck. Huh? All right. Well, that's the first level down. Fifteen to go. It only took us about five lives to do it, and a lot of time. But that's how annoying that first level is. So let's get moving on to the second one, which is a little better, at least. This one, you just kinda jump over and not hit these. Well, not get hit by that either. Hmm. Well, I guess getting 99 lives is gonna be a bit harder than we thought. So you think, at least. So, the idea is we don't wanna let any of these porcupines escape. Because if we do, really bad things will happen. So go ahead and hit that switch. So we can make our way back. Get oh, we let one out. That's okay. Having one's not bad, but having like all of them running around will really mess you up. That's not cool. And a couple of conveyor belts to work with here is no big deal. And we got that stage, and hey, we even got all three items somehow. That was easy. Compared to that first level, jeez. And... Hachu! At least I got something. 
All right, third stage. This one is also much easier, because all I have to worry about is just going down a waterfall. Not that complicated. Here, we'll wait for that lift to go down. We'll make our way up, because we can't go on the other side of the waterfall yet. That Twitter bird, or whatever I decided to call it, is giving me a little bit of problems. Pull that switch to open the way to the door. We'll come up here, grab the key, and do the same thing we did on the left side, except, well, kind of make it quick. And there- I'm go- No! Well, that was a mis- mm. ah. See, part of the problem with a lot of these Rocky Valley levels is that they take a lot of time to set up, and if you mess up, it takes a long time to get back to where you were. But anyway, that's the end of that level. Ugh. I really hate Rocky Valley. I was dreading this, because I knew it was going to be long and annoying and stupid, but at least the DK stages are pretty easy. For this one, he's got a bunch of porcupines running around, and he's pulling the switch that makes these bridges go away. Not exactly the nice fellow. So head up here, hit that switch. The way to Pauline is open. Hang out here for a bit. I wonder when he's going to hit that switch. Looking pretty close here. I haven't surprised he hasn't hit it yet. How the fuck has he not hit it? Oh my god, that was stupid lucky! Jeez! Look, the best time I ever got on that. That was a really lucky RNG right there. I'm gonna pat myself on the back for that shit because we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get seven lives out of this. In this vignette, they're showing us that we can get on these boulders because you'd expect falling rocks to be at a rocky valley. Go figure. <sighs> Our first stage is still like still reeling from that shit. Let's see if the next set of stages are as hard. Let's find out! Not really. This one's a little bit tricky. There's a couple things you gotta do, but it's not that challenging. Gotta be careful. These porcupines are... They don't like to get hit by the hammers sometimes, and sometimes they'll just completely miss. It's very weird. We can't take that with us, or can we? You know, it's hard to tell. But even if we could take it with us, we can't really hold onto it long enough in order to use it. So, what we'll do... Is we'll just go ahead and put a ladder right here. Pretty good. Run back here, hit on down, hit on down. We'll grab that hammer. And up, hit. And up. Again. Hit. Break that one. Just make our way down here. Hit, hit. Alright. Perfect timing. Whoa, whoa! Porcupine thought I could get crazy on me, that's alright. Grab the key, we've cleared the way to the door, so just a matter of, waving, of just getting back. And a one-up for our troubles. Phew. Easy, right? A little bit? I don't know. Alright, next stage. 8-6. This one is pretty complicated because... There's a lot of switches we gotta hit. First one is this one right here. Just like that, to make that go backwards. Why? I don't know, it just feels right. It's to make this one go up as well. Wait for that lift to come down, otherwise it would've smashed us. And now we have the key. Let's make our way up here with said key. Throw that switch to make the elevator go back down again, but this closes the way to the door. So we gotta take the key, bring it back around. Make sure we hit this one again. It makes the lifts go the opposite direction, but the way to the door is open. And wait for that lift and that lift. Get that one up for good measure. Oh, that was close. And there we go. That would have been really embarrassing if I would have got that one up and then died. But that didn't happen. So, 8 7 is next. And this one is. You may think it's tricky at first, but it really isn't. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna. Let's see, we hit a ladder, I'd say, right here. And then. We don't really need that ladder. So we're gonna hit that key. 
And then bring a platform, let's say right here. We're gonna drop down, we'll grab this, get on up. Don't really need that hammer for anything, because I'm not getting the not getting that. And it appears that the caver the conveyor belt isn't going the right way I want to. And that's alright. So once he hits that it will, then I'll just go with the key and then in we go. I expect they wanted me to use that hammer to break uh, break down all those blocks, but I don't have that kind of time. But I good I do got time for another DK stage. This one requires a little bit of waiting to get started, because he's throwing boulders, and hey, I'll give you ten bucks if you can figure out what we do next. I'm not really gonna give you ten dollars. Oh shit, I missed. Alright, here we go. Just roll those along the way, come up, and then hop, and then up, and up, hip. And then, yep. DK's gotta really try some new tricks rather than just throwing shit at me. He's had surprisingly fresh ideas in eight entire stages of shit. Yeah, that's misleading. If you press A hard enough, you can definitely swim faster than the current. Don't let them lie to you. I'll be showing that off a little later. I think in the next level or the one after that? But now we finally hit 99 lives! And it doesn't go any higher than that. Ridiculous, don't you think? Let's try and keep it at 99. Try to, at least. Moving on to 8-9. The third of the four set of stages. Yeah, here we go. DK Jr. is going to be throwing these tiny mushrooms, but we're going to try not to get hit by... Oh, well... Got my jump wrong. And now, with 98 lives, let's try that stage again. This stage isn't all that difficult. Just a matter of... Jump. Ah, fuck. I gotta... I, I gotta do that jump right. If I do this one crucial jump, everything else will fall into place. Then I can hopefully get some lives back, too. By the end of this. Okay, so... Back. All right, there we go. Up, up again. It, it, over, and okay. And up. Let's press mache hard enough. Put that down there. I can probably climb up there. If it, okay, good. Not enough time. Not enough time. Got enough time. Got enough time. Now we'll grab that key. Up it over. Throw it. Throw that switch so the elevator goes down. But it only comes like one at a time. I can't believe that bullet missed my cheek. Take the lift way down. Make sure that mushroom doesn't hit me so I have to drop the key again and gotta go through the whole damn stage again. And in the door we go. Simple! Alright, we're in the double digits. This one, huh. As you can see, the wind's blowing your back, so that's one challenge. So what you want to do is grab the key, then quickly head on there, and we can just kind of hang here for a while. Put that old any old wear, because it doesn't matter. Maybe we'll put this here for good fun. But this takes us all the way down gently. And up we go, and then, whoop, drop that. Well, that's okay, got the key, and there we go. I'm sure they wanted me to use all these different springs so that way it would break my fall so I don't drop it and land at the spikes or anything like that. But you can just take one of those walnuts or whatever that is to take you down. Now this one. This one's complicated. First up, we're gonna grab this ladder. Bring it down there. And then, we make our way up. Hit that ladder. So that way it goes right there. Grab that. Throw that there, make our way down quickly. Roll, jump. I'm gonna put that one right there. Quickly make our way up again. Uh, not much time, not much time. Got it. And throw it up. And quickly make it up. And time. Well, I was just disappearing as I did that. A lot of these split second, you know, you only have exact amount of time to do these puzzles. You gotta be exact with them. This one he's throwing low. Oh! Hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
This one, he's throwing more rocks at us. Yeah, we just gotta kinda make our way up. No special switches to hit or anything, but with, whoa, some proper jumps, we got- Whoa, what the hell happened there? I don't know, but I'll take it, alright. <laughs> well, alright. That's gonna get us a great time. Yeah, 668. That'll bring us back to 99 lives again, certainly. That's another lie, because the second you hit that lava, you'll die. But they're just starting to- they're just showing you that, hey, this stuff's lava, it, it's gonna kill you. But you can't skip across or anything like that if you're thinking that, you're gonna be in for some disappointment. But now we made it to the last four levels of this stage. I guess that's how I have to say it. Whatever. This first one is less complicated than you may think. I think they want it to be more complicated, but there's a way to do it easily. Head on down this ladder. I guess we can just put this one right there, that's good. So head on over, jump, grab the key. I probably did that wrong. Ah, boy. Let's try that again. I put the platform too high up. If it's too high up, that means I have to throw the key and then actually run to pick it up again, and that wastes a lot of time. But if I put it right here, I can just do a simple jump and then away we go. So here, pick up, jump, jump, and hey, look how much time we saved. You can just jump on that plant. It doesn't hurt you at all. In fact, I think as long as you're holding the key, the bullet won't even hit your face. So that's handy. What was your point again? Because you kind of made the level a little bit easier. Oh well. Stage 14. Ah, <sighs> this one. This one's frustrating because if you mess... This takes a long time to complete. Probably the longest one of the game. If you mess one thing up and die, that means you got to do all this preparation again. So we hit this second swim. Well. <laughs> Another frustrating thing about that stage is that there's this flower constantly shooting four bullets that rain down on you. And when you're trying to set things up, especially later, it gets a little hectic. So let's try this again. With a little bit more finesse. Haha. <laughs> I need to get that one. So, this switch. Avoid these things. Good. Head on up. Oh no! Mm. Alright, so. This switch. Which. In turn. Opens this switch. They give us a bridge. Handy. Opens all the- opens up the way to the key, too. We can't really get down there. Unless we get these rock things up top, and this will help us do that. So then by hitting that switch, hitting up this ladder, we got our two rocky guys up here that we can drop with this switch, like so. so but now they're both stuck on two separate bridges. So for this first one, we'll hit that switch to make him drop down. So now he, we can cross the lava with him right there. So now with this second one here, same thing applies. So now we can cross easily, but now with those bullets raining on top, we're pretty vulnerable now. Especially if we don't have that much room to go. Gotta be very careful in how we jump. So we mess it all up. But luckily, once we get the key, we have an elevator that takes us right all the way back to the top of the, of the screen. And that didn't need to be there. Maybe they could've just cut off that entire section off. We can do that. Kill that motherfucker, cause fuck that guy. Seriously. And that's the end of the stage. Really frustrating when you die trying to get the key and you gotta do it all over again. The last stage of this level is a little difficult. Got on this little tiny baby conveyor belt, drop on this one, and then with the timing hit that, and then up on down like that. Shit! And I guess we gotta make our way over there! Whoa! Huh. That's always the scariest jump. Everything else is easy from here. 
because we got two little ice blocks coming this way. Ice blocks, rock blocks, magma blocks, whatever you want to call them. Either way, they're floating platforms that will help take us to the door. They will sink, especially for fuck the- uh, <clears throat> I didn't think they'd be slippery like ice. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. No, no. Jump over there. Oh. I hate that jump. Makes me nervous so bad. Alright. These blocks go now. They are slippery. What's with that? Why would you have slippery ice and magma pool? Doesn't make sense. Get that. Don't need that one up. Gonna get more later. Put that spring about, I'd say, right here or whatever. There we go. Throw that up. Up the ladder. Pick up the key, end of stage. Not a very nice level at all. Now we're into the final Donkey Kong stage. Or at least the last Donkey Kong stage of this swirl. So, here we go. It's the most piss-easy excuse for a DK stage, because he throws these things that walk around, but whoop, well. I messed up the timing on that one. Don't laugh, I'm not being crazy. But check it out. Because he has this little platform down here, where he throws these things, I can just throw them like that. Then I can come down, grab this one, and, well... If I can make the jump right, kinda do the same thing like that. And he just killed the Twitter bird with one of those things. It's very, yeah, it's very easy to take him out with these guys, especially with this platform being right here, because you can just jump and throw, and yeah, that was, that's easy. Kind of anticlimactic. It's weird. The first stage was so hard, and the, se and the last stage is so easy. How strange. But that gives us six lives. And we are taken to the last stage of Donkey Kong 94. Stage 9. Where we are showing down to a final showdown of Donkey Kong, I, I guess is when they were enemies, and DK had a tower in DK Island. I've never seen a tower. Well, it's, you know, you know, whatever. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. We got 99 lives. We got one more stage to go. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling ready. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Let's Play Donkey Kong 94!